With an early morning climb out of Tehachapi, I set off to tackle the PCT's final section of desert. While these miles were some of the hottest and driest I've seen so far, the trail was as beautiful as ever. The rolling mountains were scattered with countless Joshua trees, which provided some much needed shade during the heat of the day. The further I walked north, the more I began to notice signs of the alpine forests ahead of me, and the terrain felt less and less like desert each day. While the first 700 miles of trail were truly spectacular, I was ready to finally arrive in Kennedy Meadows, the symbolic end of the desert section and the beginning of the snowy Sierra Nevada range. As I arrived to Walker Pass, I met an Austrian hiker named Sabrina, and we shared the final 50 miles into Kennedy Meadows. Trail life is just wonderful. I mean, everything you need, you have in your backpack. And you have the freedom of choice to set up your tent wherever you want. While I'm on trail, life is just simple and perfect. I was pretty surprised that the desert is that beautiful. We saw a lot of flowers, animals. It was just gorgeous. I saw one of the best sunsets in my whole life in the desert. Now I'm really looking forward to the Sierras, to the real mountains. And the Sierras are actually the reason why I'm here and why I choose to hike to PCT. Some miles before Kennedy Meadows, I felt a little bit emotional because Kennedy Meadows is such a big milestone on the PCT. And walking into Kennedy Meadows is so beautiful because you walk around the corner and there you see this beautiful meadow, you see the mountains and people give you an applause because you hiked over 700 miles and for a little second you feel like, yeah, the hero of the day. The atmosphere in Kennedy Meadows is pretty relaxed. You see a lot of old faces you've met before on trail and it's uh, nice to catch up with uh, some people. All the people enjoy their time and hang around, have some beers, chat with the family and friends, chat with other hikers and uh, enjoy the success to be here. Six months of planning for this hike, you know Kennedy Meadows is a big deal and I did not think I was going to get emotional but as soon as I saw the sign of Kennedy Meadows rolling up, I could see the tears welling up because it's a huge accomplishment. Getting through the desert section is no easy task. The snow coming up on the Sierras, we're going up in elevation, it's a completely different animal. This year in particular, I don't know what the numbers are, but it's something like four times greater than average uh, snowfall in the Sierras right now. So I picked up some crampons. Obviously the ice axe is gonna help too, but I'm gonna go on it with the same mindset I always have, and that's just put one foot in front of the other. The snow is not going anywhere, so you can hang out here as long as you want, but if you want to through hike and finish this trail, you're gonna have to go through snow, that's the bottom line. Kennedy Meadows has been an awesome stay, nice and chill, and it was nice to celebrate for a couple days, but I'm ready to head up in the Sierras. Everyone knows it's a big milestone. Everyone knows what's coming up. It's a high snow year. It's pretty dangerous. A lot of people are taking breaks from trail or flipping up north or finding other solutions. But I figured out I'm here to hike north. So at least I should try it. Um, I prepared myself. I feel pretty confident to hike the Sierras and yeah, I'm excited to start this adventure tomorrow. After a few days of relaxing in Kennedy Meadows, I didn't quite want to leave, but I couldn't ignore the anxious anticipation of the huge mountains ahead. I picked up eight days worth of food, a load of cold weather gear, and headed north, ready to take on the Sierra.